did a pickup order. So we got the essential things that we need. That is ready. So let's go pick that up. What's wrong, Nazi? caught a flat tire so now we're on the side of the road on the freeway i'm trying not to like <laughs> be too mad about it. i mean honestly i've been new i have to get this tire fixed and i just have been procrastinating about it so today was just today so my dad chris is at work he's way too far to even come um but my dad is on the way luckily we're, we're headed in their direction so we're kind of close to their house so he's on the way and we're gonna figure out this tire situation. Um, yeah, so I'll keep y'all posted. But I don't wanna say it's always something because I wanna speak that, but it's like, come on. It's an update, hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, but update, my dad came, um, he called AAA, so we're waiting for them to come. They're probably gonna have to tow us to the closest uh, tire shop and then hopefully we can get our tire fixed out, fixed, change, all of that stuff. So he is actually, I don't know if y'all can see his car back there. Hey, London. Um, so yeah, y'all, we, we doing okay. I called Chris to let him know, like I said, he's at work. He basically is, stays an hour away from where we're at right now. <laughs> I had to take off Mr. Nazi clothes because, literally because it's hot. I told y'all he need more clothes. So he doesn't have that many sleepers. He was in his like long sleeve sleeper. And I know he was hot. So we, we let you cool off. We let you cool off, baby. Thank you, mama. You hungry? You hungry? Yeah, hold on. We dropped off the car at the shop. Came back to my mom's house. We got the boys here. Say hi. 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 Make what to ask. Hey, and London. Mommy, hey. what to ask? Yeah, make a letter S. Yeah. Let me see you do it. More, okay? No, you can't go sleep in there. You go sleep upstairs in your bed, okay? Good night, boys. I love you. Good night. Mm -hmm. See you after your nap. Mama, I can see. Okay. Yeah, wipe your tears. There's no reason to cry. We're just taking a little nap. I can see. Thirsty. Even though your day doesn't go how you want it to go, I'm still choosing to be positive and it's super important to really like set your intentions and be positive even though stuff goes wrong because I could have easily, 
very easily been upset been mad about it been like oh today is the worst day ever you know just down about it but i'm like you know what no let me think about the positive things um number one i didn't have a blowout on the freeway that could have been worse you know what i'm saying like i felt it i was able to pull over in, in a safe location um i was 10 minutes away from my parents house and they were at home so i was able to just call them up and they pretty much came right away um, we was able to get a tow truck within about 20 minutes and take it to the shop And lastly, I had the money to get the repairs done that I needed to get so it's like yeah It's an inconvenience. Yeah, I'm, I you know had a plan for today and you know I had all these plans to do this 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 man man ma'am. but at the end of the day like I'm still able to get it done I'm still able to run my errands. I'm in my mom's car um, I'm gonna go and run the errands while the boys are sleeping. My car is getting fixed So I really have nothing to be mad about or complain about so I'm not even gonna do it So whenever y'all have things that are not going your way Things that isn't going how you plant in your head y'all literally, please, please, please Just think about the bright side of things think about the positive and not the negative because it's so easy To go to the negative side and just be depressed and down about whatever you got going on in your life Okay, so that's my little TED talk for the day because literally I could have went that route, but I chose not to so um, We're about to continue with our errands. We got two places that I want to go and we're going to go ahead and get those done now while the boys are asleep. PlayStation gift cards and then a Best Buy gift card and that'll be like from the kids and then I gotta show y'all the gift that I got him because he's gonna love it so um yeah I think that's all we need to get gift cards manager so in the front we're out and lose my mind and spend so much money i will not i'm gonna stay on focus on track get what i need to get and be gone i always end up coming in the store because everything is so cheap and you just find like the cutest stuff and it's affordable so i just go in here and i'm like oh they need this they need this i'm shopping for knives that's it that's all but i do cut i want to get some shorts for the boys too uh, i think uh, no okay knives We'll do everything else another day, but for that right now, we're gonna stay focused and we're gonna get Nas what he needs to get. So let's go. Okay, now I'm done. Well, I got a couple outfits. 
I think I got them out of outfits. I probably got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thirteen outfits. Got London a pair of shorts. So I think I think we accomplished what we needed to accomplish. And we can get out of here without spending too much money, y'all. I kinda wanna check out a couple more things, but I'ma like have self-control and we just gonna get out. We are finally home and I feel like we have had a day. My mom had to bring me home because it was, I think the shop closed at six and so it was getting to like 5.15 and I'm like, okay, they haven't called, I haven't heard anything. So I called up there and they were like, oh yeah, we didn't have your tire in, it'll be here tomorrow. I'm like, why wouldn't y'all not tell me that? Just so I can expect not to have my car because I'm just waiting around like, oh, they're gonna call any minute now, didn't call. Uh, but it's okay. Nevertheless, my mom was able to bring us Good all home. Day. So we are home now. And we're just chilling out for the evening. Um, I want to show y'all what I got from Once Upon a Child. We did end up getting all our errands done, which is good. I got all my Father's Day stuff done. What's the matter? And I had to change out of that dress because one thing I did not think about or anticipate is when you breastfeed and you have on a dress, like you have to pull everything up. And that's not very conducive to when you go out. I only spent $98 and I got, let me show y'all, the stack. I got all of these clothes and then I got a little little toy that you put like tabletop toy sections to the table and you can just like spin this stuff when you get a little bit older and I got London a skirt. So I'm gonna just show y'all some of the outfits that I got. This top, these pants. Most of the, um most of the stuff that I got was between what like two fifty and five fifty. I think the most I paid for anything was like five fifty, and that was for like the Nike stuff. But I mean, you cannot tell me that these outfits are adorable. So now baby boy has a zero to three month stuff, and he has some three month stuff. So he is set for the summer. Shouldn't have to buy him anything. I did actually buy two of these, which I said I must have really liked this because I bought two of them. Um, this little, y'all, look at this. Look at these. Look at this. Little shirt. That is too cute. And we're actually going to church on Sunday, so I might um, put him in either that outfit or this little outfit. It's like a button up jumper. So cute. This is one of the Nike um, outfits that I got. And then I thought this was too cute. A good little summer outfit, y'all. Look at this little pink little outfit. Ain't that cute? It's so cute. Okay. And then this outfit. It's this little guy. This outfit. I was trying to focus on, like, um, stuff that had bottoms with it. So you, even with, like, any of his other onesies or whatever, I can mix and match them. This is another Nike one that I got. With the shorts and then y'all it says mr fix it isn't this stuff adorable and this one this is another one like he can wear to church and then this little onesie with the little pants so y'all all of that stuff for under a hundred dollars i'm not mad at it so like i said he is set um Y'all, that is pretty much. I'm tired. I feel like we did we didn't did a lot today. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day, and it's about what time is it? 9:46. I just called about my car, and they said that it should be ready within 15 minutes. So that's good. But the problem was Chris is at work right now. He doesn't get off till 12, and he has a couple different things to do today. So I'm like, and plus, y'all, he has a smaller car. I think. I think he has an escape. I don't know. He has like a small truck. So it's no way that all of the kids will be able to fit in his car and we'll be able to get my car. So I'm like, crap, how can I like have the kids and still get my car? So of course my mom is clutching. She came through. So she, they're actually going to go pick it up for me and then drop it off here. So I ain't got to even go nowhere. So that's why I said my parents are so clutch and I love them so much. Like for real. Um, so we'll have our car back today and we should be good. And then um, today, I think we're just kind of chilling at home, getting stuff for Father's Day uh, ready. So we'll talk about that in a little bit.
much like just the summer makes me so happy that's why i feel like i need to move to like a warmer climate that's warm one second one second i need to move to a warmer climate that's like hot like 50 to 60 percent of the time that would i just feel like that would just make my soul so happy but in the meantime we're here but um yeah i'm in the, i always enjoy summer and i'm gonna really make the most of the summer for sure for sure um just being outside they in the sandbox playing and i'm out here um reading my bible and just kind of enjoying the breeze and the weather and all that stuff so while they out playing i'm just going to relax y'all about to kick my feet up Getting up. I'm on Hosea, um, so I just started that. So. parents literally just dropped it off so thanks to them got it all taken care of now we back in action i still don't think we're going anywhere today but yeah so y'all these boys love being outside they will literally be outside all day if they could so Nas, ugh, i think Nas is still asleep yeah you see the back of his head but he's still asleep he been asleep since I want to say like maybe maybe nine this morning and it's twelve o'clock. When I say my baby sleeps good, he sleeps good. Okay. <laughs> so we had got a comment the um in a couple videos that stop throwing sand, Jalen. We had got a comment. Somebody was like, "How can you tell them apart?" So this is Jace right here. I feel like Jace has a rounder face. His face is a little bit fatter. Um, and what else? I don't know. Come here, Jalen. Come here. Let, let's get in the camera real quick so I can show y'all side by side. This is Jalen, and this is Jace right here, right? So y'all tell me what differences y'all see because because when people ask, it's always hard. I feel like Jalen's face is is rounder and Jace's face is longer. But okay, okay, hey, hey, look in the camera. But as far as like, okay, okay, okay. okay. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments below. What what are some differences that y'all can tell? Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, alright, y'all go play. to eat sit down and relax the boys are taking a nap so I'm going to take this time to relax myself turn on a show I have been watching your honor which is a really really good show if y'all have not watched it on Netflix watch it please thank me later okay so good so I'm on season two now so I'm about to watch probably an episode of that till they wake up and relax <laughs> Today we made Play-Doh. We have made it before. I can touch the Play-Doh if I want to. We done made Play-Doh. Um, we had made another batch like Thursday. It didn't come out as good, but this Play-Doh is actually like good consistency. It doesn't stick to your hands. So if y'all want a um, 
if y'all want like a little video on how we made our play-doh because one thing about it is they mix their play-doh every single day and it gets hard and i'm not about to keep buying play-doh okay it adds up over time so if we can make our own all you need is a couple ingredients that mostly is in your kitchen. You can make it yourself. So we made like a yellow one, a green one. Jalen mixed all of his, so he has an orange one. London made blue. We got a, just all the things. So we had a good time. Then we went outside, played with the water table. Mama, was back on the sandbox. Yeah, I'm going to get the baby. He's chilling. And now we're back inside. We're about to do showers. And then I'm going to put some pizza in the oven, and that's going to be our dinner and our night so that's what it is um chris had a long day he ended up having to like help his um family move some stuff then he's helping his cousin driving so he's he's a busy man today so it's just me and the kids kind of solo dolo which is cool um i'm gonna attempt to get ready to edit a video too but i feel like i didn't play with them they should be good and wind down time because it's about 7 30 so we had an eventful day fun filled day of stuff so I'm going to go ahead and get them in the shower, get their PJs on, food in the oven, and then it's going to be my time to chill for real. It's okay, Mr. Nazi. Oh, my little chunky butt. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You don't want it? You, know, you want T-Rex? Hi. There you go. There you go. All right, y'all got y'all snacks. Y'all good? What you doing, Linda? Nothing. Nothing. Just about to chill. Yeah, nothing. Just about to, to redo chill. her hair. This one got to redo all of them. Yeah. yeah. And I finished all my father's things. Oh, y'all. Here, bring no, your cards out here. Not all of them. Bring your cards out here. When I take no. no more, we about to uh get some food, okay? About to get in the shower and I'm gonna make y'all food. So no more pretzels, no more snacks right now. Pizza. Yeah, we about to eat pizza. So I had London make her Father's Day cards. And when I tell you, she like literally needed a picture of everybody. And then she literally drew out a picture, the, the same picture, okay? So let me see. Right, so here's the picture for my dad, y'all. Yeah, yeah. And I drew another picture of me. That's not the picture that I drew. This is the cover. And I'm adding, and I'm giving them more things. Now, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and then I got to show you my dad. So. Y'all, look at that one. Okay, y'all see the picture. I'm not done with the cover. Look at, look at that, y'all. Like, tell me that is not And that looks amazing. just like me. That's literally amazing. Hey, that's that. I told her, I'm like, London, that is amazing. Yeah, that's her tongue. Like, I'm telling her, like, girl, you are really talented. So, I'm really about to get her into some type of, like, some rigorous art classes. Even if it's, like, showing, you know, she's doing YouTube stuff. Because, hey, shh. Because she could be really good. If she's drawing like that now, yeah, she could be really, really good. So I'm going to make sure I definitely keep her going. On. Plans have changed. And I feel like that is something that I need to... Well, that's something that I have been like working on. Because I can be... What's the word? I can be very rigid. And by rigid, I mean like... We got a plan, we set our plan, and we stick to the plan. And if anything messes up the plan, then I'm just in a bad mood or discombobulated and all of that stuff. And if anything, these past two days have taught me is that sometimes you got to go with the flow. And that's something that I have been saying that I wanted to work on for myself because honestly, with small kids, stuff changes all the time. So we had a plan of getting in the shower, like I told you, getting food and going to bed. Um, Chris called me and he was like, hey, y'all want to go to the park? And I had him on speakerphone. And as soon as the boys heard park, they were like, yeah, let's go to the park. So we couldn't say no to the park, even though it is eight o'clock at night on a Saturday um it's it's summer it's the weekend and I don't want to I don't want to miss out on you know fun times that I get that my kids can have and that I can have with my kids 
because of a schedule or a routine or being in bed at a certain time like it's summer so we dropping all of that we're going to be more spontaneous more um more like you know we'll be able to freestyle it more day to day so this is the first i'm i'm feeling good about myself you know what i'm saying i'm like okay routines out the window by the time we get home it's gonna be close to probably 10 before they go to bed but it's okay as long as they're having fun they're gonna have a good time and we're gonna be good so y'all let's go to the park <laughs> Tell y'all what time it is. Okay, it about is bed. 10 28. No, they, they, don't, they don't go to bed. It's like over here. Okay, over here, we be in the bed, bed at, bed, at bed, 8 bed. to 8 30 every night. But did you have fun? Yes, you did. Did you have fun, Jalen? Yeah, good. It's the end of the night, y'all. Uh, I'm tired, but we got to do bedtime story time, right? We got a nice shower, we ate good, we had pizza. Now we're about to read a book. Oh, Brown Bear. Okay, so let's read a book, and then we go night-night, okay? Tomorrow is Father's Day. So you get to see Daddy tomorrow. Yeah, one minute. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? I see a... Red bird. Red bird looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a... Papa. Blue horse looking Blue. at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? Okay. I see a purple cat. Cat looking at me. Okay. Purple cat, purple okay. cat, what do you the see? I see a. What's this, Jace? White. White what? White dog. I see a white dog looking at me. Boys, see you in the morning. Jump on the roof,